Uh, speaking with Xavier Gilbert, assistant coach uh, with the team here in Melbourne. Uh, Xavier, a good training session this evening. Take us through what happened. Uh, yeah, it was a very good training session. They were buzzing from the get-go, from just before the warm-up, and we, we, we saw it right throughout the session. Um, and it just it's, it's just goes to show that the girls are ready and, and ready to go. Um, the training session was pretty much um, how can we exploit um, some some areas that we think um, will be left available by the French, and also um, how to curtail some of their strengths in terms of how we defend, especially in the wide areas. We know where they're gonna want to exploit us, and um, they're gonna counter press a lot. And then try and force us through the middle and, 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 and do a lot of pressing from there and then go directly. They play a lot in transition. So um, the session was pretty much how to curtail some of the things that we anticipate that they have been doing over the past few games and how we anticipate they're going to attack us. What do you learn from the last game, the practice game that we, we had that you could use in the game? coming on the weekend? Uh, uh, well, we, we, we did our analysis and um, we showed them some clips of some of the things that we did well um, because we, we used, part of that game was, was also being used to prepare for some of the things that um, we would have wanted to, to do against a French team. And um, we, we, we did some of that and um, even the goal that was good um, was, was as a result of what we, what we did before in terms of playing forward and even the throwing that we practice um, that resulted in the goal. So there, there were lots of positive that um, we took out of the game that was part of the preparation and we, 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 we showed that to the team today in terms of um, what we call the red zone, the areas that we want to hit um, and the areas that we had to protect and um, how we play in transition against them. Of course we also saw the French team play um, on the weekend, they were beaten 1-0 by Australia. Did you learn anything from that? Of course. <laughs> um, and I mean, we, we saw some things which we have been um, analysing the French from even before they got here. And um, it just kind of solidify and, and, and um, confirm some of the things that we, we, we saw in previous games. They really don't change their style of play. Um, they were pressing and pressing and pressing and counter-pressing. Um, the Australian didn't um, ease up either. They, they, they faced them front on. And we saw where they, they, they struggled a little bit, especially playing out of the back and coming under a little pressure. And even isolating some of the centre backs and, and taking them 1v1. But well, those were some of the things that we got out of the game and what we saw. But we saw how they play up front and we have to be mindful um, how they attack and how they defend up top. Is it a dream to, to be a French or are we just dreaming or is there a possibility that we could get something from this game? I mean, nothing is wrong with dreaming. Sometimes you dream and the dream comes to reality. So nothing is wrong with that. But I think we really have a, a good chance. And if we, if we play smart and if we, if, we, if, we, if we contain them, I think as we go along, it will, it will get easier for us. Um, we, have, we do have quality players. There is no doubt about that. I mean, that we can match up against them. Um, psychologically, I think um, our, our, our top striker is, is also raring to go. They know that she can be an handful. Um, she, she, she has played against them in, in, in the league before and they are mindful of what she has been doing and how she has been progressed. So of course, certainly. And um, it, it gives and leaves opening for others in the, in the attacking phase to, 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 to capitalise and those are some of the things that we want to exploit. I know this Jody Brown who was injured on the weekend. She's back training and looking good today. Um, not in terms of on the ball but she trained by herself. Yeah, it's just it's just managing and ensuring that um, we have a full team and everybody available for selection um, um, ahead of our first game. We don't want to rush into anything, and it's just her keeping um, back her physical. But I mean, she she'll be fine. I mean, the, the nature of the injury is not something that um, you can be alarmed about. I know it's it's a soreness and it, it takes a little time. But with treatment and and everything, she'll be fine. Thank you. You're welcome.